Genevieve's. How are you today? Today I thought I would do something a little different. I am going to do a Dollar Tree, what do you call it? Not, well, not a Dollar Tree haul, but a hop. A Dollar Tree hop. I'm going to go to all of my local Dollar Trees and um, kind of answer a question that some of you have asked me. And that is, what do you do for your displays for craft fairs? So I, I thought about it and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go to a bunch of Dollar Trees and show you what's available, what can be used. There's so many things at the Dollar Tree and the Dollarama and the all the dollar stores that um, you guys have down at the States. And that, it's like there's so many things that can be used. Um, I usually go on Pinterest and look up craft fair displays or um, jewelry displays or, you know, whatever it is that you are going to be putting in your your space. Um, just look up displays for that and or craft fair setup or something like that and get some ideas. So come along with me and see what I can find. Okay, so a lot of things <clears throat> that you can get pretty inexpensively for your setup is at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, any kind of dollar store. Um, you can go to thrift stores. You can go to Valley Village. If you've got a Valley Village, you're like way down there. What, ha what happened here? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> um, or you can use a whole bunch of stuff from home. Okay. So if you happen to have a few dollars on you and you want to do some retail therapy, we're going to go to Dollar Tree. Let's go. Okay, first off the hop, there's a bunch of Easter stuff that you can use. I talked about that in my last video. Um, cool noodles. You know what that's for. Baskets are great for putting stuff in on your table if it's Easter season. Look at all these little kinds of eggs that you can use. They come apart. You can put little stuff in them. And you've always got to get dressed up for any season. Okay, something like this is great if you have scrunchies, hair scrunchies, or um, scrubbies. You can put them in here. You can use like stuff, oh, this one's nice. Something like that you can use for scrunchies or you, what you can do is any of the face cloths that you make, you can roll them up and have them standing in here. Oh, that would be a great idea. They come in all different colors. Oh, look, there's purple. Who doesn't love purple?
dollar store always has bags that you can use for your table pretty inexpensively and it comes in a range of colors There's little bowls here in the wedding section. It comes four to a pack, so you can use those. And here's some trays. These are really good for stuff to put on your display. <laughs> also, you know, you can do a DIY. You can get these, um, these cups and you can put some glue, put it upside down. You put some glue on the top, and then you get one of these trays, put glue on the bottom, and glue it on top, and ta-da, you have a display. You got a great display right there. All you need is the cups upside down, and a plate, and you put it together, and voila. Ooh, look at these. These are more fancy. There's a four piece. That would be great for displaying their stuff. Ooh, baskets galore. These are awesome <coughs> for your displays. These are also good for carrying your product for packing. Oh, these are really cute. You know, you could use these as risers. So when you've got your display, oops, when you've got your display, you can put a couple of these up like this. And then you can put something on top, even like something like that, to have, you know, something in. You can have them different levels. You always want to have your risers like low and high, right? Just to give it some dimension. Okay, so here is the sign that I got for my newest display that I'm going to be doing. Here are the, there's two different types of signs. There's this one that has a little kickstand, and there's these ones that have the base on them, right? So you can use something like that, and you can write down your prices on it. If you want to get really fancy, you can do it on that too. need to get some of these for my sister so I think I need a cart oh my god you guys look what I just found they're llama chalkboard um, chalkboard pieces there's three in a pack how cool is that for putting your prices on Oh, and look, we've got the little ones. Oh. Okay. Here's the ones that I got before. Oops, sorry. I'm going to grab one of those for my sister because she wanted one. Look at, they've got pom-pom makers, guys. Okay. Here they've got fabric. Oh, interesting. Look at this pathetic yarn aisle, guys. Ugh, there's nothing here I can use. It's terrible. They've got knitting needles. 
Oh, they actually have some. Oh, they're plastic. That's no good. You need the rubber ones. <laughs> They've got finger protectors. Okay, guys, this is a great idea for your setup. All right, if you've got a tiered shelving unit, you get these push lights and you put them underneath and that will give you your lighting really inexpensively. Um, it just needs a little battery. But uh, they've got the wall lights too. But these, these would be great. Okay guys, here's some scarves that you can use as um, table runners on your table just for some accent. I love that idea. One of the biggest suggestions that I can say is to always have tape. Have tape on hand, have scissors, tape, um, and uh, what else? I can't think of what else, but you always have to have a little kit with you. Oh, a screwdriver, um, just in case you need it for a uh, display that you've got. Ran into that problem this year. <clears throat> but always have some tape, whether it's scotch tape or duct tape or whatever, because if you're taping stuff down, you're gonna need it. These little baskets are a great idea. Um, that you can use, whoops, there you go. You can use baskets like that, like if you've got um, face cloths or uh, like baby blankets or something, you can roll them up and stick them in there. Um, these pegs are always a good thing to have too. <laughs> you know, just in case. Because, you know, if you're doing a market outside and your, your tablecloth is flying up, it's good to have these to just hold it down. Oops. Um, these are a really good idea to have so that you can get lint off of your tablecloth or off the, the clothing that you make. Hangers. Get your hangers from here for any garments that you might be making. Um, and then just put, like these ones are the velvet ones, but if you're making crocheted items, it's still gonna damage your, um, your clothing. So get the thicker ones. And these are actually good for if you are doing scarves and stuff, you can hang them over the top or you can clip them on. Or if you've got a garment, a specific garment that you don't want to put on a hanger, you can use these to clip, clip on instead. Look at all the colors of these bags. And they are that size. Okay, if you make um, soap sacks, Get your soap at the dollar store. They have really good soap here. I love this stuff. Pears is a really good brand. Dove. Ooh, Dove of Shea Butter. They have lots of different kinds, so, you know, why pay a lot of money for soap sacks? If you're gonna put, I suggest putting soap in the soap sacks and selling it as a, like a bun bundle. Um, but otherwise, you can just use it as a display. Look at these guys. Oops, my basket down. Like, how pretty would that be on the table as part of your display? You know, it comes in different colors, or these ones. You know, have it as your one of your centerpieces. There's the glass ones. Now that you can use. There's lots of stuff down this aisle that you can use for your display. Look at these, you guys. Instant risers. This is perfect. You just put a little piece of wood on top and you have an instant riser. 
so that you can have that height to your table. Oops, same with this one. This is a three tier, all ready to go. You just put a couple of pieces of wood or cardboard or something over top of it, and then take one of those um, scarfs that I, I just showed you and uh, put that over top. <gasps> that would be so pretty. Look at this, they've got baskets, metal baskets. You know, like all of this can be used in your display. They have a multitude of different placemats in here that you can use on your display. Now, they've got, if you don't make doilies, they've got these doilies that you can put down. These are table runners. I have these. I've actually used these um, on my table at Christmas time. But, I mean, these are really pretty. They would work really well. Like, look at these plates and bowls, you guys. Like, if you're doing a fall type of um, craft fair, these would be really good. You can use them for putting any, like if you do jewelry, you can put jewelry on it. Just get creative, guys. If you make metal book markers, you can take a cup, like whatever cup you want to take, and you can stand them up inside there. Aha, this is what I'm looking for. These are towel, paper towel racks. We're going to use them to put these on. Yeah. That's going to be a great idea. Hmm, these are a good idea. These are one, one inch by six by five. They're planks. Those would be good for shelving if you're going to do a display with shelving. But then you can just put, like if you're going to do your own tiering, um, these ones are shorter. So you can do your tiers and you can just put um, boxes like um, what you, those wood crates. You can put those underneath to hold it. That would be good. If you're doing an outside market, these um, lattices would be really good. You can use those as walls in your, in, on your tent. Um, you can even take, like if you're doing scarves and stuff, you can wrap them in here. They have the pre-made pre shelves here in different sizing. Like, Ah, this is what I need, the zap straps. It's a thousand in a pack. And I also got some of these S hooks for hanging my sun catchers. So my thought is zap strapping these onto my PVC pipe because this is not going to fit around my PVC pipe. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's see how that works out. Oh, 
Look, guys. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, look, you guys. There's the mugs that have little sweaters on them. That would be really good. Ooh, little ice cream trays. different. They're so pretty. Those would look really good on your table. They all... There's these kind of things. Hey guys, um, there's some lighting here. Like, I really suggest getting um, LED lights. Like, these are spring and summer, but you know, just to have on your table is like a really nice accent. You know, you could put these along your shelving shelving unit, just to kind of draw attention. Oh, those are cute. You could put a little pot in there and put something in that. You've got little, little oops things that you can put stuff into. Oops, sorry, all the clanging. You've got little wheelbarrows. You could even put these little frogs on there just for something, a little accent. But note to self, people will want to buy them. <laughs> you just tell them it's from the dollar store, it's part of your display, or put a little tag on it that says display only. <laughs> I don't know how many times I had Christmas stuff on my table and people have wanted to buy it and I've had to tell them, nope, sorry. <laughs> There's some more scarves. Oh, and look at these. They're fleece. Those are pretty. It's actually a hooded shawl, but you can definitely use these for on your table for um, for a uh, table, like, you know, table runner or something. Definitely. If you're doing summer fairs, always make sure you have a hat on. Make sure that you take your sunscreen and hat and everything to keep you cool. Okay, I got a couple of these shelves for my dis my sister's display. Here's some more of those little string lights that you can get. Um, if you don't have a sign that with your your business name on it, you can get these and put them on your table and then I saw where is it where did I just see it ah there happiness is homemade sign that would be really cute to have on your table to tell people to buy homemade you can get craft bags here you can get little bags. I just bought some of these for the earrings. They've got little craft treat bags that you can use. Um, they have tags for pricing.
make sure you have a notebook so that you can keep track of everything that you sold. So sometimes you have to make an executive decision. That big bag of zap straps, a thousand zap straps that I saw at the hardware store, they were perfect. Perfect. Right size, right color, but they were $27. I wasn't quite prepared right now to pay that kind of money. So I went to a dollar store, as you just saw, and I got these ones. They're about twice as long, so I'm going to have to cut them, which is a real waste. And I hate doing that, but it doesn't matter because it's getting thrown out anyway. <laughs> um, and I got these. I got one, two, three, pack of four. Or I got four packs. There's 40 in a pack. So it's not quite a thousand, but... Uh, and they were $1.25 a piece. So... And I found these. <laughs> Look, they've got fleece inside them. They're Velcro. Aren't they cute? They got the little rubber stopper thingies on them. I got two pairs. Now, Axel's going to be grown out of them by the time they can wear these. But Mason won't be. So, hopefully. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe she'll have a big baby. But, um, yeah. So I got a couple pairs of those. And if they end up growing out of them before, they, you know, it's like they were four bucks a piece. It's like, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Now we're off to home. Maybe we'll grab a coffee first. Thank you. Wonder bar. Thank you. Yeehoo. Jabba, 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 jabba. Did you ever see that um, Tarzan with Brandon? Um, uh, what's his doofus name? <laughs> what the hell's his name? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> Oh, he was so hot. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>